What's up, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Smoking Word Podcast. This is a little bit of a special one. It's our Lucky 13, so I figured we'd do something cool with it. A lot of you people always bring up a special album that we're connected to, our first album. So I figured let's do a little set it off reunion via, via Zoom. So um, let's welcome everybody to the show. I want to welcome Will Shepler. Maddie Henderson and Freddie Christian. So say what's up to the party people out there. Yeah, what's up? Good to be hey. here. Willis, 20, what up, 25 Willis? years later. <laughs> what I wanted to ask is what I was thinking. First of all, when's the last time we were all in a room together? In person? Yeah. Uh, I mean in person. Because we seen yeah. I seen I seen Dick with little Dick when they came by here. Maddie, we've seen in California, and you I saw on the airplane. But when's the last time we were all together? Probably one of the black and blue bowls, I guess. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Five, yeah. six years, yeah. maybe. Yeah. yeah. It, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's yeah, I've seen everybody. About. I've seen everybody different times, different spots. But, yeah, probably black and blue, I'd say. Yeah, and everybody's corona-free, right? In the room, I'll, I'll put my mask on. That's oh, yeah, I already scared. had it, man. I'm good. That shit's scared <laughs> of me. <laughs> you kidding me? The places we've toured, we're immune to that shit. <laughs> that shit sees me and it runs the other way. Yo, straight up. You know, stigma. He, they, they got to take stigma's DNA and he's the cure for all that shit. Yeah, everything. But, um, bubonic plague, bubonic plague, everything. <laughs> the, the stigmatic plague. <laughs> but um, Maddie, California, what's up out there? Oh, no. California dreaming, baby. California dreaming. You, I, I, I wanted to make sure I caught you guys after you came out of church. <laughs> What's up with all the fires and all the crazy shit over there? How's it going over there? I mean, you know, thankfully, so we're, as far as I can tell, like, it's never been right in my face, right? I mean, it's far yeah. enough away where I don't feel like we're going to have to all of a sudden evacuate our house, obviously, but close enough where... You know, you can smell it in the air. You can see the sun being, you know, shielded from uh, smog. It's, it's wild, man. Shit's so wild, got, yeah. you could, wow. So you could get some smog shit from the fires, right? Oh, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, crazy. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Because oh, yeah. L.A. always had smog, right? But not like forest shit fire got, shit, right? Shit's got well, quadruple and, smog now. Yeah. That's got the worst air in the world right now. Right now. <laughs> yeah, right now. Oh, yeah. Right now. We cleared up for a minute when, when the quarantine kicked in and everyone, you know, got off the freeways. It was like, mm. like you could see the mountains. There's mountains not far from, like, L.A., right? Uh, yeah. And you could see them in the, in the horizon, but yeah, not no more. Yeah, when the whole lockdown first happened, people saw, like, you could see China was fucking Japan. People were seeing, yeah. like, you were able to see the skyline out there. That's the yeah. crazy shit. That's just from pollution. Yeah. Bunch of dirtbags. Yeah, there's a big difference here, actually, in the Keys. Like, the water is so much more clear now. Like, you, no, you could see, no like, yeah, I went out to the reef, and you could see, like, hundreds of feet underwater, like, thousands of fish. There's way more fish. Wow. It's crazy. That's, That's awesome. crazy. That's good, man. That's what we're, uh, the people needed to take a fucking break from all that. Yeah. yeah, nature needed if, a little break, right? If there's yeah. an upside, if there's an upside, that's one of them. Yeah. Uh, nature, got, right. nature caught a break. Yeah, that's for sure. It's fucking crazy. Our pockets didn't catch a break, though. That shit. Nah, nah. No, no, the pockets. <laughs> we'll be, and we'll be, back, we'll be back to destroying the world very soon. So. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. that, that little... positive thinking. This oh, yeah. shit is fucking <laughs> whack. My pockets are looking mad vegan. That shit yeah, is hell fucking yeah. abs. Yeah. My pockets got abs like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I've been doing mad ab workout on my pockets. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. <laughs> It's like I look at my son when he's eating, and I'm like, yo, you're going to eat that all by yourself? You know? <laughs> oh, man, that's terrible. We got to split that shit up. But fucking, yeah. you know what? For, well, anyway, mad people were hitting me up about this shit. You know, people, I don't know why lately, especially lately, people, I think because I've been pushing that, you know, we're working on our 10th album, which is fucking crazy. And yeah. a lot of people always are like, mad people are amped, especially they want to hear a lot of new music. But then people also been bringing up, you know, the Set It Off album. This is why it gave me an idea. I figured, um, and because the Zoom shit made it a little easier to get everybody in the room. Yeah, it's cool. Stigma, but to get everybody in the room, and I figured, yo, let's get everybody in. 
and fucking it's been 26 years like yeah 26 years i think right 90 and yeah. Four, yeah recorded in, in 93 right yeah yeah recorded no, 93 we... drop 94 right or drop 90 recorded 94 drop 94 yeah no no and, no because 93 we recorded 93, 93. yeah because yeah. This is what reminded me. Recently, I put up a video of us in Argentina, and that was the end of '93. And we went there with a, a, a press, a promo tape that we right. paid for them. Right. And that was right. the end of '93. Oh wow! All right. Wow. That makes sense. Then that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was cold. Yeah, it was winter then. We were yeah, recording. probably probably winter of '93 or something, and then you know, or fall or winter somewhere in that winter, time yeah. period. So yeah. what does that make that 26 years, right? Because I, Freddie just made me realize a couple of months ago how old I was because I forgot how old I was. Yeah, he was <laughs> telling people he's 50. I'm like, yo, you're like 47. Yeah, you were 30 when you joined the band, right? Yeah, shit. I'm like, you know what's I'm like crazy? shit ain't going that fast. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> you know what's crazy? That I turned 20 at Stigma's house. I was 19 years old at Stigma's oh house God. and turned 20 at his house. I think we all turned 20 at Stigma's house. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> at, one, at, at one point or another, I think we all we all turned twenty. <laughs> yeah, straight up. Yeah, Willie was there when he was like ten. Yeah, I know. I was like when I joined, Vinny was thirty. I was like, holy shit, man, this dude is old, man. Yeah, that shit probably looked uh, a little weird. Yeah, you couldn't do that nowadays. Have like a fifty-year-old dude with like a ten-year-old on drums, it probably looked a little <laughs> suspect. Yo, yo, yo. That makes, that Let me go back sense. to the timeline real quick. Hold, yeah. hold on, because the the thing I I oh, always Google remember, boy. The uh, Kurt Cobain, remember? Oh, he died. Okay. We were in the well, studio uh, at Michael. That, that was at Hoya's first show, right? We died. <laughs> what? No, no I, <laughs> right. I, was, I, know, oh, I know you remember <laughs> Michael Johnson, right? <laughs> I remember we were recording, and he goes, "Yo, that boy Kurt Cobain just killed himself." I remember that. That, that was ninety four. Yeah. April ninety four. I flip flop though sometimes. Not Michael Johnson was set it off, or or Michael Demonstrate Johnson Mustard was set it off. Michael Johnson Michael yeah. Johnson definitely set it off. Oh, oh okay. and Demonstrate Mustard was on the Cape. Was out there in the uh, with the who, who, guitars yeah, from uh, Billy, Billy. No, Brown we Sound. tracked the Brown Sound, right? Yeah. 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 Which record? Then mixed it oh, at Michael oh. Johnson. Tracked tracked both at Brown Sound. Michael Johnson okay. set it off was was mixed at Michael Johnson's and. All right. Demonstrating my style was some other weird spot. Well, oh, okay, okay. That's so both. Weird. Yeah. Hmm. So What's both. Weird? Yeah, that's a little tidbit of. I bet you that's a little tidbit oh, that people shit. don't know I'm about. Confused. I was confused. You know, about that we that. recorded, you know, one of the hardest records at Billy Joel's guitarist. Yeah, house. yeah, <laughs> yeah. That and, and we did both of them were tracked at Brown Sound. Yeah. Yeah. Holy crap! Wow. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. I felt I felt like both were tracked in different places. I I, I swore that it did too, man. Are you positive? Because yeah. one time I remember we stood in the one where we stood in the mansion, right on on yeah, the, that, the, the haunted mansion. The Don't haunted, forget the haunted. No, there was part. the haunted mansion. Then there was the the jiggy mansion, and, and, the, and the cave. You remember? Um, Michael, I remember Michael that was the cave. Yeah. Michael Johnson was the cave. Brown Sound was Gloucester. Gloucester, yeah, gotcha. gotcha. Okay, so, I mean, it was all beautiful areas. It's kind of it's funny what Willie said to what we, like people would probably thought we were recording like in the LES, like fucking yeah. around the corner from like I don't know whatever Z bar or some shit. Yeah. And, and meanwhile, <laughs> we're we're in like Gloucester, Mass, or like exactly. the Cape is like Living beautiful areas. Yeah, you know, if you take a shit in the woods, it's still a shit. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, no and. And the ghost followed us there, no matter where we went. Yeah, because the, the, yeah, the haunted us. house was during which which record? The first or second? The first. squat ghost. The squat. Yeah, that was during the first. The haunted <laughs> the house. Right? Side. I think yeah. you, you got Maddie. Are you positive? Because that well, I trust right. Maddie. I trust Maddie. I'm not because he's white, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> <he's>, <laughs> but because he's pretty, he's pretty yeah. knowledgeable. No, about he's, he's pretty good shit. with that. <laughs> but what I remember, because I remember two things. I remember once. One of the records, we stood in the mansion. We each had our own, like, wing, which was crazy. And then the other one, when we were in the haunted house, in, the, in, that, in that building that we would go to, we would drive to all the time, and they had the spirits living upstairs and downstairs. That was set it off, haunted house. Okay. That's on the liner notes, man, right here. Oh, uh, there you go. That was uh, recorded in Brown know. Sound, Glou Gloucester, Mass. Gloucester, Mass. That's Mixing additional recording at Mission Control. Right. Okay, where's that? That's Michael Johnson. That's Michael Johnson. That's Michael hey, Johnson. Shout out, yeah. shout out Space to Michael Cowboy. Johnson. What a yeah. cool cat that oh, Michael yeah. Johnson was too. I had a lot of we had a lot of fun talking history with him, huh? 
Yeah, it's Johnson. Johnson. Yeah, Johnson everybody Cook. out. Everybody out there with uh, to, some of the people involved with these records were owning the studio. Well, one of the owners of the studio was Billy Joe's guitarist, Mike Brown. Right? Was that his name, Mike Brown? Dave Brown. Dave, Dave Brown. Brown. Dave Brown. And Brown Sound, and then. What was the other guy's name? Space Cowboys no, uh, name? What's Michael his, Johnson. Michael, Michael Johnson. Johnson. Johnson crew. Johnson, yeah. yeah, he was um one of the guys uh, involved with um putting out a hit in this in what the late seventies, eighties, the Space Cowboy. When was that? Yeah, didn't they, didn't they help some some boy bands too? They did. They did yeah, a lot of stuff. Yeah. They wrote a lot of. Music. was Maurice Starr. Maurice Starr, yeah, 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 Star, which was New Kids on the Block, New Edition. New Kids on the Block, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and um, yeah, that it's confusing. You know what, man? That's that's crazy because all this time I've been remembering in my head. I remember having a promo tape and playing it in in, in Argentina, and then they wow. just passed me the Argentina footage was '93. Wow. See, so, that's how, yeah, that makes that's, that's right. Go. That's right, though. That's right. How's that possible, though? If we had the demo, if we had the the pre-release to set it off, recorded in '94. No, so. we we had the we recorded it in '93. Didn't we? That's what I've been thinking, but Maddie's saying no, 94, but I think it came out in <laughs> well, 94. Well, it dropped. It dropped in 94, but back then it took forever. It took like ages to, for, I, for the I, thing I to get processed. The only, yeah. And again, I, I, you know, obviously it's a hard time yeah. to remember it for all of us, but yeah. there's no question in my mind, Michael Johnson told us when Kurt Cobain yes. died. Yeah. Oh. So maybe that was the second round, because then we mix it twice there? No. Second, so was Demetri uh, messed up? No, Demetri that was saying that would have been '96. That would have been way later, right? Um, true. yeah. Well, whatever. Should yeah, whatever that, it is. That's okay. crazy. That's what I'm saying. This is also why I wanted to get everybody because <laughs> I forgot I, what what the technical word is. Maybe we had a time shit. machine. Maybe we had a time machine. Maybe we fucked, somehow we maybe, had the tape. Maybe it's we, all a dream. Took a maybe time machine. It was all like, a dream. Well, no, because there's that there's that thing you know where everybody. Everybody experiences one thing, but they have different versions of it. You know, there's actually a fucking word for it. Not potpourri, Maddie, but it's some other yeah. like, white word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It well, well, just shows potpourri. you how long it's been because nobody can remember shit. Man. Yeah, there's, there's another one that I get into. Does anybody remember how we got signed the road? We're going to go a little bit before that. But I had Howie on. And anybody, obviously... The connection with Howie and you guys was from the, you know, the, the early from the, the, the... Yeah, he did Ball of Destruction. Ball of Destruction and all that. Yeah. But does anybody remember the exact convo? Like, hey, come check no. us out at Roadrunner. Exactly. Yes. I, I know you don't. And I had a story in my head. I, I think I made it up in my head. And I've been I mean, we saw him. I mean, I, think we, I feel like we saw him out and about and he yes. was interested. I remember that. I remember okay. he was like, yo, I remember he was interested. He's like, oh, you guys are playing now? And like, oh, all right, come, come by, come by. Like, exactly. Kind of I remember right. that kind of I was back at school in Boston by that time. Yeah. So got, I think that was me and you. I think that was me and you, Hoya. Yeah. All right, because this is what I remember. And then you guys tell me what else. I yeah. took it that we were walking somewhere. And I remember originally Rat Cage was going to put it out. And then mm -hmm. we ran into yeah. how, in my head, Rat Cage was going to do it because they had – you know, you guys were talking with him and good friends with the dude because of Roger and you guys all had a history. This is my version that I always rocked with. Wait, 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 hold, 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 hold up. Rat Cage or Wreckage? Wreckage, Wreckage. Oh, it was Wreckage, not Wreckage. I thought it was Wreckage. Wreckage, Wreckage put out. No, Wreckage. Victim Wreckage, Pain, right? Yeah. yeah Wreckage, Wreckage did, did the Drop of Many Suckers EP. Yeah. It's it was European. It was, okay. Yeah, so, so it was one of those. And I remember even Howie was kind of fu fuzzy on it. But I remember kind of what Freddie says. We were going somewhere, and we run into him, and we're like, yeah, we're playing shows. And he's like, what? Yo, yep. and then was like, yo, I'm in yep. Roadrunner. Hit us up. That's what we it were is. like, you know, it's a given. That, that was what it was. I don't know if it was at a show or at a wherever it was that we ran into him. But we, I do remember we were, we were already – we had dropped. We had done. We had done dropping many suckers with wreckage. So yeah. Okay. So it might have it's, been. It's very. It's very likely that we were talking to them to do something else. Cause. And then we saw Howie. Yeah. And then he was like, "Come to the office," kind of. Yeah, kind of thing. Exactly. And then that, that's how I remember. We walked, we how walked he was through the talking. office, and he was yeah. like, "Oh, okay. This shit's. What, oh, well, this is before, some other level shit." Yeah. Was that before or after the gas station gig? Oh, uh, probably after. Probably after. No. We're gonna go back to the beginning. Do you guys remember the first show? Hey, you? It? I remember it because I got a full <laughs> lump right hey, here. You, you remember oh, that one? Why you? It was at the student union or something. Yes. Yeah. Yes. How many people were there? Who's, who remembers that? Yeah. So we the first <laughs> show with me and the band was at NYU, the fucking school in like the 
what, what's that room called? There's like a, a room where they, they have like fucking um, seminars in or whatever. But they basically yeah. had a show. It was us, I think, 25 to like life. auditorium and they're like little yeah. auditorium at their school or something. Right? Yeah, and it was basically us playing for like 10 people, right? Yep. And okay. why, I, why I always remember if fucking Freddie would do this shit where he spins the fucking microphone yeah. around. And I was too busy trying to remember these fucking songs and I got clipped in the head and the shit ricocheted off my head. Oh, man, that's rough. You remember that shit? <laughs> yeah, I remember. I, now, I, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. I, I remember that. I remember, like, focusing on that and I feel a boof. And that shit went oh. bing and ricocheted off my head. I guess that runs in a family. Didn't Roger do that and knocked out Kabula's tooth? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> I yeah, right like a, family. But I think he did a different. He did like a little, like more Roger Daltrey kind of thing. I, I did the uh, helicopter. I did the long, the yeah, long, uh, yeah. you know, the long Roger helicopter. Was doing this one. Did the lasso. And you were yeah. doing yeah. the yeah. lasso. Yeah. He was lasso and the fucking. Yeah, I was doing Long Ranger. You were doing yeah. the Long Ranger, Robert. Yeah. Roger was Robert. Like Robert Moret. Robert Moret. <laughs> Robert Moret was doing the fucking, the fucking um, Rod, Rod, the Daltrey, but um. <laughs> all right, right but let, before that, the first, all right, when Mabble, before you guys went on tour, when Mabble before me, when it was just the AF guys, did you guys do, yeah, you guys did some, sh what was the first show with that Europe. lineup? Not when you, when, when you went, when you came back during the, the first show with you as, as um, a teenager, because the first time you did it, you were 12, right? And then when you came back, you restarted the band, and when you guys restarted the band, what was the first show? With that lineup, the the, mm. the dropping many suckers. I, I feel like I feel like it was there wasn't an official show. I feel like we did a tour with with, with AF in your yeah. in Europe. That was I feel like there was. I, I mean, I did a couple like accidental Madball shows when we were like real young, because like uh, something happened with Willie and Craig, and then this was like right before Maddie was in the in AF, and so it was like. We ended up doing like uh, that was like New Rochelle Streets. That was like the first Madball official Madball show because it was supposed to be AF, but then something happened. You and these guys didn't show up, and I sang, and it was Vinny Roger. No, Willie was there. It was Vinny Roger, me and Willie, and and I feel like Craig and whoever else was in the band at the time didn't didn't couldn't make it because that was like eighty eight or something, eighty eight, eighty nine, oh, so, something like that. Yeah, I didn't. Oh, so those were eighty nine. Like and I remember yeah. the, it was the first European tour with AF. It was accidental. It was completely accidental, that first show. The, the, the first tour, the AF tour in Europe in 1990, when I first joined, yeah. right. um, everybody wanted, everyone that came to the shows had the Mad Ball 7 inch. And they always right. said, He's Freddy here, he's Mad Ball here. Like people were gassed thinking that, you know, AF's here and Freddy's here with us. And, yeah, because uh, I just naturally, I'm just there always. Yeah, well, and we had we had <laughs> Umbar on the road. <laughs> I'm there. We had Umbar there. with us, Everywhere. RIP. But Roger would say, "This is my, this is Freddie. This is my little brother, oh, Freddie." Everybody. <laughs> oh my Umbar god! Would come of out, course he, of course he did. And Umbar would come out and sing "Last Warning." So then it was the time for our last tour in Europe in in early '93, and it was, was Roger was like, "Yo, everyone wanted Madball so bad, we should." Give them what bring it want. as an opener. Yeah, bring well, bring that. When was Mad the Balls obituary tour? You remember 90, when Roger? Ninety one or ninety two? Ninety two. Yeah, that was before that. Yeah, that was, was before like, that. Wait, oh, so the obituary tour? Oh yeah, the obituary tour was okay. You already it was knew really more. Freddie filling in for Roger, but that was like his really first like tour, right? Freddie. Well, well that, right. that was that was like my training. That was like uh, that right. was like I went into training there because Roger Roger had to get that that thing taken care of. He had you know he had his uh, hernia. Or whatever he had, and yeah. then uh, so he he made Why me sing. Laughing, he, he had his hernia. <laughs> he made me he made me sing for two weeks, and that was basically a precursor to that tour. That was like where I got my little quick little training, and then where you figured well, out your 90, stage moves. Yeah, I guess I don't know. <laughs> fucking you know, and then ninety three came, yep. and then we went to did that Europe thing. And then, so there was never official Madball first show. Like, hey, it was like, here's a tour. Yeah. You got to open up for AF. And then we had right. Dropping Mini Suckers. So we were selling that. We had Dropping Mini Suckers seven inches on the road. So that was so we recorded were like already pushing, for that time. That was already recorded because I was recorded in 92. 
Okay, or, so or ninety three, ninety two, in between ninety two and ninety three, around. Okay, because you know? that's crazy. Because we actually like I like some people might know I'm on the cover of that, but I wasn't in the band. Exactly, so I was. I was gonna to get that. to that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was gonna mention that that if if you look at the cover of Drop Many Suckers, Hoya, Nark, and Izak are behind me. That's who's on. Yeah. Not even Maddie or anyone. Willie, no one. It's not even the band. It's like you guys, which is kind of funny because it's kind of ironic because you end up being in the band so it's yeah like and, and i wasn't even there wasn't even a thought of me being in the band basically you guys weren't around or they yeah. didn't, you guys didn't want to be um af with yeah. freddie it wanted to be its own animal so we were fillings we were body that's, doubles for everybody and that's why they didn't even show faces it was like focused yeah. on my face and then it was like bodies behind me but meanwhile it was like my boys and it was you guys you know so we did that and then you country. went to europe that's when yeah. we went to Europe. After that, after that, we went to Europe. Yep. All right, and, and then that was wild. And when you re <laughs> but when you recorded that, that was Don Fury's. No. Don Fury. Yep. Oh yeah, it was. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop yeah. yeah. my with Don Fury's. Yep. 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 That was probably one of Don Fury's better things out of his studio. Then. Probably. Probably his best thing he ever did there. For for his Just, studio. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was. Shout out to Don Fury. It, it was kind of it was kind of more modern for him for his taste. Like a little bit more, like you know, metallic for a Don Fury record. Yeah, that's what I'm Seven saying. Inch. And how long did that take? You remember that shit, Willie? You doing that shit fast? I don't. Yeah, yeah we, that was we quick. quick. We, you know, yeah. To, yeah. Fucking sixteen track, or was it like eight track? Right? Nah, it was uh, uh sixteen track. No, twenty four track. Uh, ADAT. Oh. The mm. Early days of the ADAT, you know, the VHS style cartridge. Wow. And then you did, so, so all right, before that, then you did the, so all right, you do that, then you go to Europe. You record that, then you go to Europe, right? Yep. yep. And yep. what year was that, that year? That was 90. 93. Early 93. Early. 93. Early. Because I, I always was, think it was 92, but it is early 90. It was very early 93. Yeah, that, that was the last AF, the last Ever. AF tour. It was called Last Morning, right? Wasn't it called yeah. the Last Morning Tour? Yeah. yeah. And then on that tour, who was on there? You guys in AF, was there any other opening bands on that shit you remember? Madball, that's it. It was just Yeah, we played two sets a night. Well, me and Maddie did. Yep. Yes. Lucky you guys, huh? And me, and me too, because I'd have to sing three songs with AF, so. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know Roger hated that. Roger loved that shit. He just stayed in the back. Well, fucking, yeah. Um, we, we were Roger was wearing the disguise, eh? Everyone, All of you yeah. guys had the we disguise. Like, he had a long yeah. beard and shit. We all came out with flannels. We all came out with flannels, and it was so fucking hot in those clubs. It's crazy, man. We'd come up there with flannels and bandanas and stuff. <laughs> all these hats, all this like crazy thick, warm clothes. And there's like one song in, you'd be ripping that shit off, you know? And, like, and we, I mean, we, I would be, not them. We try to play it like we were like not AF. Not we, AF. We and we literally said like, "Yo, I want to give a shout out to Agnostic Front for taking us <laughs> on the road." Those dudes are, are solid guys, except for, for Craig, the bass player. He's a real dick. Oh, Fred, yeah, there you go. And, and, and Willie would talk Spanish trying to throw people off. <laughs> yeah. He would just say, orale. Oh, he got your Taco Bell. <laughs> Vini. Uh, uh, yeah. what, uh, whatever burrito, uh, Benny Burrito. Who was downtown popping, <laughs> Benny Burritos? <laughs> yeah, Benny that Burrito. Shit. That was good shit, yeah. Let, yeah let me, all good. right, let me ask you this. So obviously, before we recorded the record and went to Europe, right after we did the set it off record, was there a difference? Because it wasn't that far off from your first tour to the first Mabel tour. Because what I want to try wait, to wait, make wait, it wait, 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 yo, I saw I got ask a question. What about like the, the station wagon road trips on the weekends? Okay, no, we're gonna get to that. I just <laughs> yeah. wanted to know this. That was where Hoya no. came in. Yeah, that yeah, no, we're gonna get set into it off. that. Was before set it off. Okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. All right, yeah, no, we're going to get into that. What I just wanted to know was, and when they jumped back and forth, the, was we played, you guys played a lot of squats in that first tour, and even in the first Mad Ball European tour, we played a lot of squats. Horrible, horrible squats. Right? So it was basically the same lay of the land, kind of, right, from that first Mad Ball tour and then the first, yeah. the Set It Off tour, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ours yeah. was like a little stepped up, maybe about by a hair. Yeah. No, but that that's what I wanted to get into. That's what I was going to say. Do you guys remember the first shows with me? Because I, I have that. I was remembering that because I remember our first weekend shows. Mm. Where a lot of them, our first weekend tours was doing the Northeast with yes. the bruisers and toxic narcotic. Yes. Mm. 
And I remember that show. We baby would head, Green, baby Vermont, head, Austin. And Boston shows. Yeah, the Rat. We did and, a lot of that kind of. And stuff. how we did that in the station wagon? Really, station wagon? Yeah, I had a I had a giant station wagon. I remember as a VA because I had like a little carpentry business. Yeah. Oh I used shit. it for work. And oh it had God. the seat all the way in the back. I remember we took like two hips with us and everybody. everybody yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Johnny Stiff God. or uh, uh, Tommy Rat too would, would drive. Oh, right? yeah. We'd use, yeah. You'd use their vans because they were the we only guys that had Johnny vans. Johnny Stiff's and, van, yeah. And, yeah. And, and that weekend, those weekend tours were in the, in the war wagon. Yeah, and some of them. Yeah, some of those. Fuck, I'm trying to remember your 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 station wagon, Willie. I, 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 what, what <laughs> like the country was squire it? or something. I forget. It had like wood paneling on the side. It had the wood paneling shit on the side. <laughs> the Griswold <laughs> shit. <laughs> Family That's truckster. Awesome. Yeah, That's no, awesome. I I I remember those first couple of tours, but I don't remember how we were traveling. But it makes sense because I don't remember being in a van early. I just remember like popping up and being in Maddie's house. In Boylston or wherever the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> a picture in that station wagon might have rivaled the, the set it off cover, like a picture of us sticking out of that station wagon. That might have, that was, <laughs> That's like, so that was like an Boylston. alternate cover. <laughs> I know. And I remember it was with Toxic Narcotic and the Bruisers, oh. those yep, early right. on. Yep. Wow. Fuck, Toxic Narcotic. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And, and I remember playing um, the, maybe the Elvis room. You remember that room? It was a known room back New, then. New mm. Hampshire. New Hampshire. Yep. Mm. Oh, yeah. Remember MQ on the bike in New Hampshire? Oh yeah. Oh my with, God. With the uh, whatever money, I don't want to say. Um... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was yo, Monopoly. That was the money. Monopoly money. The Monopoly money. Yeah. <laughs> but we, you know, we also pay, got paid back for it because when we got paid that night, they gave us Monopoly money that came back into Cipher. Remember? Oh, yeah. Instant Crazy. karma. Crazy. And then Willie would have. <laughs> Willie, how the fuck we fit in your drums? Because at the time you had the drum cage. How we put that drums in the in 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 the, in the war wagon and all of us fit in that shit? Yeah, Willie had the ill drum set up. He had like a I don't remember. massive. Yeah, maybe. We, yeah, I don't know. Oh, we borrowed. Did we even take the equipment? I, 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 I drove myself. Huh? Huh? Yeah, crazy. I think I had because I think I had a car in Boston, so I was. So we took multiple. Myself. We took multiple. Okay, vehicles. yeah, it must have been multiple okay. cars. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 That's crazy because I I'm not, maybe I wasn't I'm not, even in the war wagon because I don't even remember it. I was probably in another car with like hips or somebody showing rolling up with other guys in another car somewhere. I that was wild forgot, shit. Yeah, I completely forgot to Willie just told me about the fucking station wagon because I had a station wagon we would come hang out in, you know. But I I forgot Willie had one that we would fucking tour in. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. funny. And the Northeast that's awesome. people shout out to the that. war wagon. Yeah, people forget, like, you know, um, there's always that little fun beef we had with Boston, but yet we have most of our history was New York and right straight to Boston, Rhode Island area. Big and, time. And, and those shows, that, those weren't even, that wasn't like a tour. Those were just weekend. shows on the weekend. We didn't have any of the set it off songs. No, yeah. we didn't, right? No, no, we didn't. We weren't, we, we, we were just, I mean, for Ball destruction and, and dropping many suckers. And I think Willie would probably think the same way. We were burnt out from AF and all the, the issues we had, which led to that band stopping. And we're right. like, well, we, you know, so Madball is for fun. We're going to go out on weekends and have a good and time. And Roger had his other stuff he was doing with the Harley stuff. So, yeah, yeah. yeah Roger yeah, was yeah. gone. So it was, that's why Hoya came in. Yeah. And we were just having fun. And then I remember being at school in Boston and getting the call, yo, Roadrunner wants to sign us and do a record. I was like, oh, shit. Because I remember, uh -oh. you, you know what's crazy? Another crazy thing was one of AF's last shows was in Long Island, right? In, yeah, in a yeah. club called Lips. Lips. Long Lips. Island promotes slam dancing, <laughs> right? That's now, check awesome. this out. On that bill was Agnostic Front, Demise. That was my last show with Demise. Neglect, which had Johnny Lafada, who ended up being oh. in the band with us. Yep. That's what was crazy. And I want to say... I forgot Marauder. Who played. Marauder, Marauder played it. With, with Minus. Yeah, Marauder. Marauder definitely played it. Marauder with Minus and Sob. And then yep. uh, us, Madball. Yeah. And, and I think that was and one of the last shows, also. Yeah. It oh, was. It was that last run of shows. It was that yeah. last bunch of. They did like, oh, you guys did. AF did like a run of shows. Yeah. And then I just remember Maddie calling me up. Oh, we were talking on the phone. We were already hanging. But Maddie called me up or whatever. We talked and you were like, yo, um, 
about filling in for a couple of shows if I was down to do it. And you were like, and I was like, yeah, I guess, you know, why not? And you, I remember you were like, yeah, we'd probably do a couple of shows, maybe a weekend or two. And I was like, yeah, fuck it, why not? You know, I got nothing else to do. <laughs> and that was 26 years ago I've been filling in. <laughs> Yo, here, 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 all right, Hoya, what was the first song you wrote for the band? Oh, shit. All right. This, I lost this, you guys. This is the thing. I'm so it, I had two in the bag, right? But the first one I brought up was It's Time. Yeah. Mm. Because this was the thing. I had, I had set it off and It's Time. But I remember I said... um. Set it off, I thought was too too swaggy for you guys. Not for Freddie, but for all you other squares in the band. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, no. But I remember thinking, man. I was all I was with it. I wanted yeah. to do a reggae. I wanted it to yeah. be a reggae band. I remember thinking it was too <laughs> like you know it had too much of that bounce. So I remember I said when you guys said, "Yo, write some riffs." I never forget. I basically bit the formula for one voice song. Right. Um. Um, I forgot what song it is, but you'll know it when you hear it. And it's literally, it's time I change shit around. But I was like, let me take from that and write my version. It might be easier for you guys, you know, that you guys will, will, will get it. Digest quicker, it. Yeah. Get it off shit. Yeah. And I remember I brought It's Time up and you were like, cool. But then I remember you were, Maddie, I remember specifically, if it was either on the, I, I want to say it was on the phone where I said, yo, I got this other song. But I remember being like, yeah, but I understand if you don't want if you don't want to play it because blah blah blah. I was already giving you like the forget about it line before you heard it. And you were like, nah, nah, let me hear it. And then the minute you heard it, I remember you were like, nah, that shit is dope. Let's do it. And I was like, yo, you sure? And that was set it off. But I remember I was kind of, I was nervous because I was like, nah, these motherfuckers don't want no um. Hip -hop didn't think we 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 wouldn't get the Corona groove. Uh. Yeah, that was like not that I was like <laughs> that shit was more sneakers and hoodies when you guys were wearing boots and camouflage. <laughs> you know? But it was it was the kind perfect mix, you know what I mean? That album yeah. kind of brought everything together. Yeah, Before, yeah, I agree. Groove part, you know. Then you had stigma, you know, like with the real yeah music, punk rock, the dirty, part. the dirty, yeah, the, the dirty dirtiness. punk rock. Yeah, and that's yeah. what I was saying, which was always I was always trying to put my influence into the AF shit. That's why I would take in the, the, I love Victim and Pain, but we would all go to the One Voice album because that was the swaggiest AF record. Even at the yeah. time, people weren't feeling it. People and that was a, that was where wow. Matt, Matt, Matt had a heavy hand in, in One Voice. Yeah. So that it makes sense, you know? And we Matt just was, came off, we just finished that album not too long ago. You know what I mean? That was kind of the style we were playing yeah. then. Anyhow, yeah. it was more, more technical. And up to date, than like the early stuff, you know. And it was probably the most up to date with what the younger kids were doing at the time than any other AF record. Not that AF was, they were always, AF was always cutting edge with it. every record they try to do something new. That was one thing, but I think that was the closest record to, to what was popping with the younger kids at the time because it had swag in a way. You know what I mean? It was still yeah, fucking. Record. um. It's still a little stiff on the swag, but it's yeah, swaggy yeah. his record. Like, you know what I mean? It had, that's what I always heard. I was like, yo, this shit got, got you know, some, some bounce to it. So, I think my, my jeans were yeah. pegged a little too tight at the ankles. Yeah, you still had mad at that point, yeah. puffs. Yeah. Yeah. Too stiff, yeah. 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 The circulation was, yeah, the circulation was, yeah. <laughs> and then I remember, yeah. Um, um, yeah, we had, to, we had to loosen that up for you. <laughs> yeah. At that blood flow. We had, we, we had a loose and willy suspenders. Yeah. We <laughs> <laughs> just think we got rid of his leg warmers. Yeah. It's fucking fun. Swap now, those out for this flannel real quick. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, you know, it's funny. We talk about the stigma attire. A funny story that some of you might know, but I, I don't remember because, so when we went to get signed, first of all, everything about signing to Roadrunner was crazy because number one, you know, we were lucky that, all right, Willie had a hookup with a lawyer, but that lawyer did, like, plumbing laws for fucking buildings. Remember, <laughs> Willie? He was, like, like construction remember, lawyer. He did, like, he was the lawyer for, like, construction sites. Uh, real estate. Contract. We were like, oh, yeah, it wasn't a great deal, but it was the same deal Roadrunner gave every single yeah. man. But yeah, I, sure. but check this out. I remember, this, this is what I remember. So on the way yeah. there, we had to go to downtown Manhattan. So we were meeting on the train. My dog. We were meeting on the subway. And Stigma, if everybody or people that don't know Stigma, he was known to just throw layers of clothes on and not give a fuck on what he rocked. So 
Stick up met me on the train station. Zero he, fucks. Look at he had gloves with the cut off fingers. He had a skull cap. I think he had a, a Notre Dame jacket. He had crazy pants on. And while he was waiting for me at the at the train yeah. stop, a bum went up to him and was like, "Hey, brother, they got soup down the down the block." <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we need by the stigma to the soup kitchen <laughs> on the way to do our fucking roadrunner contract. And That's another hilarious. Thing, and I don't know who else, were we all there for the signing of the contract? Maddie, were you I, there? I think so. I, no. I don't think so. I think I did it over the mail. Yeah, oh, yeah, you might have. Then it, it I was, was probably there. me, Freddie. I was and, there. Willie and Vinny were there, right? And were, were you there, Willie? I think so, yeah. Yeah, because sure I remember there. definitely Stigma was, and I'm pretty sure Freddie was, because I wouldn't just I was there. Stigma. I remember. And, but I remember the lawyer looking at the, the contract, and he's like, yeah, it's a standard contract. We were like, and we're like, all right, cool. Who knows? <laughs> I guess we, might play a couple show. we might play a couple shows. We don't know what's going to yeah, happen. Yeah, we didn't give a shit. fuck. We were like, Roadrunner, the biggest label at the time, one of the signers, we were like, yo, we're in. Fuck it. Yeah. What, could go, what could go wrong? Yeah. You know? But I, yeah, that's what I, re I remember. Stigma. I remember the plumbing lawyer, and I remember Stigma's outfit get and getting invited to the super <laughs> That sticks out. We were the first noticed. hardcore band they signed, right? Did they have any hardcore? I, think, band? I don't well, think they did. They had right. like the doggy dog, but I don't right. know what that. Yeah. Yeah. That was not like not like uh, not like, yeah, not uh, like you know. us. I think we were like the 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 more gritty, the grittiest shit they had. To just yeah. start off. Shout out to Howie I, and Monty and yeah. all that's what they yeah. said. Yeah, I think you're right, Willie. I mean, not to say that Doggy Dog didn't have hardcore roots, because I know they're like big hardcore guys, like, you know, great guys, and they, they got like a lot of roots in hardcore. But like, I think you're right as far as that. It's like we were like more, I wouldn't even say traditional, but just, yeah, I don't know, from the traditional scene, I guess you could say, you know? Yeah, there was a lot of metal bands on there. Yeah. Like, oh, Typo yeah. Negative was like their no, big were, band at the time. That was yeah. a big they were a death metal label. I mean, that was their shit. Uh, the whole Tampa Sepultura, Ford. right? Sepultura, yep. Sepultura was like their Sepultura. biggest record, right? Obituary, time? Malevolent Creation, Cannibal right. Corp. DSI. All that, all the, the, the road yeah. racer shit became Roadrunner all at once, I remember. Yeah. Because, yep. um, yeah. I always tell the story too, how me and Freddie, especially, we would roll up there and be like, oh, great, man. We love Gorgoth and fucking Kill Your Mother. And we would just take the CD so we could sell them yeah. to get money for 40s <laughs> and rice and beans. Yeah. We'd be like, hey, listen, this devil worshiper stuff anyway. We so love we're, it. we're doing like, a good, we we're doing a good service. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, we could get 10 copies of each and fucking, <laughs> we, we love like fucking, this. yeah, Deicide yeah, and all that there shit. You go. But shout there out to Obituary. That was like, and you know what else I get? I get Willie did. Willie's the guy who put me on a machine head because wow. they were signed to that. And I went to Willie's house, I think, to work on music. And Willie goes, yo, and it surprised me because I know Willie liked old rock and Stevie Ray Vaughan, but I didn't think he was like, I remember Willie, you told me, check this shit out. And it was the first machine head record. And I was like, yeah, oh, shit. Great album. Yeah, and I remember being like, okay. And that's what got the metal, guitar, the guitar shit stuck in my head where I was like, Yo, our guitars for this first record got a bump because these fucking metalheads are killing it. And, yeah. and then I got really stuck on the guitar shit. You know who was on Roadrunner just before us too, though? Uh, I forget, was uh, Biohazard. Urban oh, Discipline. yeah, yeah. I was, I was going to say, Urban Discipline was on oh, that, right? That were they big, before? That they were before, right? right? Yeah, yeah. and then yeah. they got Warner, right? They went to Warner or something? or you, when, They went to a big a big dog after that. The, the record after that was... Uh, State yeah. of the World or whatever. One of those was fucking... Okay. But, but uh, uh, Urban Discipline was Roadrunner. Roadrunner That's crazy, was, yeah. Roadrunner was no joke, man, as far as, like, heavy music goes. Like, Life, they Agony, had that. Life Agony yeah. came out before I set it off, too. River Runs Red, yeah. that one came but, out? But, you know, they, they were obviously roots in the hardcore scene, but, you know, we, you know, our, that shit came out of our pores. People, you know, we couldn't act like another, you just looked at us and you knew we were a hardcore band, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, right. yeah. there was definitely nothing like us on there. I mean, they had a lot of diversity, though. If you think about One it. One thing that worked out well, though, I got to say about the Roadrunner thing was getting on, playing the Dynamo Festival in 95. Yeah, we're like, going to get Every band get was a Roadrunner band there. Yeah, but all right, so the the whole thing with, with um, um obviously, we all love the Normandy sound. You know, all the classic, the Leeway record, the Raw Deal record, all these fucking classic records we love came out of there. Maddie, you must have had the... the, the <laughs> You were the guy in touch with the studio shit, right? One I'm voice thinking. was one voice is oh, at Normandy, you right? Willie, right? Or what? Yeah, one no. voice was at Normandy. Yeah. One voice was at Normandy. Yeah. And I went up there while you guys were recording one voice. I remember I was there. 
and, and oh, Jamie Locke was the engineer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. all right. So Willie, Willie, and you guys already had history with Jamie as an assistant. He was the, the assistant or he was the main guy on it? All right. Yes. No, he, he started out as the assistant. And Tom Soares, who was supposed to be the main engineer, um, ooh, a lot of controversy here in these stories, boy. Uh, uh, yeah. Tom Soares had Sword. to go do something different. Soares, yeah, he had to go do something different. I mean, he soared out of the session. <laughs> he soared right out of there, huh? <laughs> yeah, I never met that uh, cat. And uh, so Jamie was the engineer. Dom Fury was the producer for One Voice. But we're I remember up. that. With his glass of wine, with his glass of red wine. There's a snap of his fingers in the control room with his glass of wine. And then, uh, yeah, when it came time to do uh, Set It Off, it was like, who do we record? What do we do? And it was like, I don't know, maybe we knew Normandy Sound was no more. Maybe Jamie Locke would know of some way to still kind of do a Normandy thing without being at Normandy. I was the, so I, you know, yeah. So I, it was I, you, it was you, it was your, you were the, yeah, you were the connect with that. You were always the technical guy, but I I, feel, I completely forgot that you guys did the one voice shit in. Yeah, Normandy. And yep. Jamie got grandfathered in. And yep. you know what yeah, I want to Jamie talk was about? the one who took us to the uh, Brown Sound and, right. yeah. and he set up all those studios. Yeah, I remember yep. that. He didn't have a studio, right? Did he have a studio? Or no. Not? He worked at a bunch of places. Yeah, and yeah. and, and that, that's what I wanted to go into. So. And now I want to go to you remember because we have a lot, there's a lot of crazy shit. You remember? So we get signed to Roadrunner and we start rehearsing. So we used to have a lockout in the music studio in Manhattan. Music, and music building. Like eight music hours building. A day yeah. there, Monday through Friday. Or the oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you remember that? And I, people don't know, we literally would do Monday through Friday, like fucking eight hours a day, right? Oh, yeah. Jump on the that? train, jump on the train, meet at the music building. Get ourselves a little sandwich at the little deli downstairs and fucking go to work. And stare at each other many times yep. for hours at a time in yep. there, remember? <laughs> yeah. And have people and have band, random bands poking their heads in. What are y'all yep. playing? Yeah. <laughs> I remember a story. I don't know if Maddie was in the room, but definitely Willie was. And maybe you, Freddie. But I remember yep. one time we were jamming. And this black, old, jazz, black dude comes in the room, bopping his head. He's like, yo, you guys should want me to throw some sax in that? And we were like, <laughs> I can't uh, remember that. But the, the yeah. whole black jazz dudes loved us. That was one thing. Yeah, that's a compliment. Yeah, they, you know, that's where the song yeah, comes yeah. from. Yeah, man. And what was the name of those guys that owned the studio? You remember? They were cool guys. They had yeah. that. We shared friend. it. The, the, Didn't uh, we share it? Yeah, we, we shared it. Scott and Vince. Scott and Vince. Oh, shit. From the outpatients. Outpatient. Outpatient. Yeah, Scott, Scott Scott. Scott. yeah those good uh, dudes. Yeah, oh, nice guys. Guys. Real sweet guys. That was the room that that AF had. That that we we inherited that. Room we inherited. Oh, yeah, we I inherited that, that room from AF. Yeah, yeah, that's what and, it was. And that's well, we inherited that time. Yeah, and I remember we spent a lot of hours because we would do a lot of those sessions there, and that's where I learned a lot of you know. Again, I wish Stigma was on here, but like I said, his fucking Morse code machine wasn't working. But um, that's where Stigma I learned antics. some of Stigma's greatest. Um, 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 life hacks. One, so one time, I, one time I'm there, we're, we're, we're working on songs or whatever, and Stigma would leave the room for fucking half hour, 45 minutes at a time, and then I see him come back with a bag. He's in, the, he has this big bag, and, I'm, and then I look in the bag, and it's full of light bulbs and toilet paper. <laughs> and I remember he would go into every fucking bathroom and take the light bulbs and toilet paper, and I never forget this. I go, what are you doing with this? He looked at me, goes, hey. You know how much toilet paper cost? I never forget <laughs> that. Crazy. <laughs> That's amazing. And survival. And, and, yeah, survival. he did that on tour too. I mean, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, just yeah, yeah. that wasn't a one. He's a great thing. survival he'd, guy. He'd have light bulbs in a in a in a duffel. The hoarder. Bag. <laughs> light bulbs in a duffel bag. That sounds like a book, right? <laughs> and beer mug. Famous biography is gonna be called that light bulbs in a duffel bag. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know what else I remember is we're, we're on tour. <laughs> we're on tour in Switzerland, and I remember Stigma comes in. Bah, he throws something in. He's like mad. He's kind of like popping his chest out, like yo. He just like pulled off a mission. He goes, Willie, I got something for you. And he looks, and it's a snare drum. And Willie's like, Yo, that's my snare drum. He basically <laughs> robbed Willie. <laughs> <laughs> he's so my snare drum. Willie, and what about the time we got Maddie? You remember with his bag? You. And that was a really, that was a, a custom Willie job that I jumped on. 
And I took, I, I co-produced Just that. trying to build them up, man. That's part of like, you know. Yeah. Maddie, let people know what, what, what surprise you found in your bag. Yeah, because, right. So <laughs> in those early years, right, I, when, I, when AF quit, I went back to school, Boston, Berkeley College of Music. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to, you know, pay attention to what the hell's going on at that school. So I got music books. And then, like, when we go on tour, <laughs> I had to kind of keep my brain fresh. And I brought a shitload of books, like a stack of books. And of course, I'd never wind up reading them because I'd always wind up drinking beer in the bus or whatever. Yeah. But I tried. Uh, and my bag would always be really heavy because I got these <laughs> damn books. So I'm used to this stupid-ass heavy bag. And then one day, I'm like, yo, this bag is just, this, is, this ain't right now. This is too heavy. I got to sort some shit out. And I'm... I'm sitting in the hotel room. Well, it wasn't even a hotel, it was like a youth hostel. Yeah. I remember. Oh, I'm yeah. feeling down and you guys yeah. are just kind of sitting there watching me and I'm pulling socks out. I'm pulling like shorts out. I got like, I think maybe one extra pair of shoes and some books and I'm pulling more books out and then two big bricks. <laughs> <laughs> two big bricks in that bag. Oh, oh man. And, and the best part. <laughs> The best part, Willie didn't even like talk about it. I just saw him putting the bricks lining it. He had it already. And I just like, what are you doing? He's like, he wants to carry shit. Okay, let him carry shit. I figured he um, would notice right away, but he like took the bricks on the whole tour. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <what he> <laughs> and, and I remember, oh man, we would throw random shit in his bag. And one time, Manny goes, "Yo, catcher in the ride, who's this?" And I said, "Yo, it's mine." And you were like, get out of here. I go, yeah, I do some reading sometimes. I was bullshitting. Yeah, Maddie goes, yo, yeah. I'm really impressed. That's not easy reading. And I was like, I don't know that fucking book. I got, I got my GED. I got thrown out of high school. Catcher in the enough, ride. Get the fuck out. Oh, we lost Freddie. Yo, I'm the, here. The I'm UFOs. here, though. Yo, your picture is gone. Wait, you know, let me the, figure this shit out. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's uh, or sign off and sign on. I don't know. Your picture disappeared. Oh, go. there you go. There you go. I like that. Okay, I got like multiple screens here. No. Yeah, and then switch it up. So we record the, the and, and recording the record. Now I just see Willie. Oh yeah, no, yeah, we're all here. All right, and, and, and now we 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 go into record the sessions. Do you remember those fucking recording sessions like in there? Because there was I remember we would have some a lot of arguments, not like Ooh. Oasis style, but some of them were like. Some 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 fucking arguments on what we were trying to do, but um, and also I remember not being prepared that we would sit around. I remember we had like a quarter of the album. I definitely right. remember not being prepared. I remember that oh. shit. I remember going out writing. I didn't even fucking know how to write lyrics. I mean, I had just started writing lyrics for during set it off. Actually, Hoya, you wrote you wrote a couple of lyrics. You know, you set, set it, it off. Up, yeah. Set it off for sure. Set it off for sure. And, and like a there was verse, even maybe a couple, a couple yeah. other songs where like I bounced some shit off you. We we like, yeah, had like collabor a half a collaborated. Or something. Yeah, we like collaborated on some other songs. But then I was like, all right, I think I got this shit. And then I would run out and try to write, you know, lyrics. But I mean, I was literally learning because dropping many suckers, Maddie. You remember that was like we were going out of Rogers, like. uh black book of like lyrics like crazy all, lyrics that he had remember that book of lyrics yeah all, huh? all the stuff he wrote when he was away remember well yeah but it was even other shit he just had this book it's, yeah maybe it was part of it might have been when he was away yeah that's right you're right about that but yeah. like remember we would skim through it and some of it like we'd be laughing but then some of it was like okay we can fuck you Mr. know, know but, <laughs> yeah mr know-it-all was a song called mr know-it-all i was like oh, we might have to change that title <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> no more, Mr. No More. <laughs> what song would that have been anyway? Uh, 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 it was uh, Face to Face because you changed it from like you're Mr. Know It All to like you know it all. Oh. Like you know it. I changed that part. <laughs> you should have left okay. Mr. Know It All. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Hell no. Hell Bad no. enough. Bad enough. <laughs> no, but that was like I, um, during that, I like. I was editing a little bit, right. you know, like with titles and words. And I was like, oh, maybe you were this good, is, this you were is good cool. at making those phrases fit into the music, though. That yeah, because it was a I lot. Thought. Yeah. But oh. I didn't know shit. My point is, I didn't know shit. Set it off was where I really started to write. And then back to your point, it was like, we were not prepared. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember being in, in the fucking, we record one or two songs that we had. And then we like, yeah, we just need like 15 other ones. And we would sit Oof. around. 
I remember Maddie, Willie, and Freddie be outside writing or whatever, and we be yeah. sitting with guitars looking at each other with Oof. watching MTV and Oof. fucking being like, what do you got? And we're like, yeah. what do you got? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Think about that now, like, like the money that was involved with recording there, $1,000 a day or whatever it was back then especially also. Wow. It's a lot of money now. But Somebody's making then, money, not us. Yeah. And then we're in there fucking writing the whole album basically as we went. That was that's pretty crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. We had I, some of it. We had some. So of it. we had, but like a yeah, third of it. We didn't. We had it some. wasn't even half. I remember doing, or we had pieces, but it wasn't put together because you. Because I remember I would kind of I was the greenest guy in the band, and you got you and Willie were able to throw shit together, and make it happen quicker, and then I would have to learn it as I was tracking it. Right. Because I was yeah. like, yo, what the fuck? Like, I got to remember we're doing this, that. And, and kids out there, this was before Pro Tools. So yeah, we, had to do the, we had to do this shit in one take. It was, it and was also on many the fly. Takes. Like, a lot of bands would do pre-production, you know? Do a couple yeah. weeks of pre-production before we get the whole album ready and then go yeah. in. For the we just, like, we just went in the studio. We and, did some kind of pre-production, I guess, at Music Building. Like, we would have some songs kind of ready to go there. Yeah, but, then but we didn't record or anything. I right? definitely was slacking on the lyric department because I remember, like, it was, like, very daunting. Like, by the time we got to the studio, it'd be like, oh, shit, how many more songs do we got to write here? Oh, my God. Yeah. But and we pulled I, that shit off. Even yeah, music, no, we I mean, weren't I fully prepared. Like, that kind of, you know, that definitely helped. You know, obviously, we never, we, we didn't put nothing on that record we didn't want to put on. But I remember definitely, like, um, the, the pressure was on. I think, you know, especially back then, like, we learned how to work with pressure. Like, we needed pressure to, to, to kind of make shit happen. But it, the problem was when we're in the studio and time was ticking, because I remember doing dozens and dozens of takes of songs. You know, and I remember Willie dying, like, yo, one little fucking uh, a weird stick hit or something, and then Willie have to blast through the drums another fucking 10 times. And I remember being Yeah, like, that, was, that was brutal. I, I, I remember recording Liberty and Justice in 87. It was like the first real album I was on. And I did every song in one or two takes. I was it, you know? Because yeah, I didn't think about fuck. it at all, you know? Yeah. And then, Freddie, you remember that up in Ithaca. Yeah, yeah I was there. Yeah. Yep. And then... Um, yeah, but the, these albums, it was like, I had, I, maybe I overthought it or whatever, but you get too much in your head, then it's like, it doesn't yeah. flow the right way, and you got to keep doing it till you get it right. I and, remember and doing we were, that same thing, man. I remember doing so many takes. Uh, like, wow. On Liberty and Justice, I had no problem with the gong. I had no problem at all with that. <laughs> one take. Got that on the first take. That was yeah, amazing. first one take with the gong. Willie, did, did we, um, didn't we do try to record some of the songs with the click on set it off. And then some songs were with the click, some songs weren't, some songs- I, I couldn't remember, man. Take it out. I know yeah, we somebody, tried it. Somebody asked me about that. I couldn't remember if I played- What's the, the first song we would have recorded? Do you, anybody remember that? What's I would say like, we never recorded? had it or something like that. Cause we like had- Like an old one. Yeah, we probably did all the old yeah. ones that we redid. Like, yeah. yeah, we did the old ones to act like, yeah, we got shit prepared. And then when we had- Warm up. You know, yeah. and then we had no more. Oh, yeah, songs. we had gusto at the beginning. We were like, we got this, and then by the time we got to the new song, we were like, I'm out of here. Yeah, we blew our load fast because <laughs> then we had to finish. We had pieces, but they weren't pieced together. That's what it was. The one song I know for sure we wrote from start to finish at the studio was face to face. Okay. Yeah. Right? Okay. Or that was me and you yeah. sitting on TV yeah. late night MTV style, trying to yeah. just get any yeah. type of like trigger of a thought yeah i remember I that i remember for sure like having to come up with because we didn't have enough time all the songs we had were like like Fuck we didn't you. know we we're just going blind it's like this is enough songs right it's like yeah but it's only so many minutes now you got to have more yeah. like, you're at 15 minutes guys you need about <laughs> 100 more you need at least you need another nine hours. minutes i know yeah. And, and, yeah. And, and, and new york city on which record was that was that on set it off yeah, yeah that was set yeah. off. yeah now i remember specifically tracking that because Dirt, since it wasn't done to a click and, and Willie's hi-hat thing in the beginning was there's like a little split second where the hi-hat's off, right? That you can't notice till you, I had a track to it and I was so green. I remember I couldn't get it and I spent hours on it and I had Maddie standing behind me tapping me on the shoulder when I had to start the, and I was just writing an open E note because I had to catch this little flutter thing that Willie did. And I was like, I remember starting to get aggravated. I'm like, yo, I, you do this shit then. 
I didn't want to fucking do it because I was getting fucking pissed off at that shit. So, did, you, did you did you have the the metal wire around your wrist on the, at that point still? Or? I don't remember if that was demonstrating my style or set it, it off. Set it off. It was set it well, off. yeah, I, we talked about it before, but for a little recap. I had at one point, uh, you know, first of all, the equipment that I had was fucking whack. But that was also because we didn't have money for equipment, and um, I had a grounding problem on my base. So mm. the I had to play with a wire you wrapped to around my you. wrist into a radiator. Because it, it would oh ground God. the electric. That's funny. <laughs> and I was playing with this stupid shit. And then I remember every time I'd go set up, I had to connect the shit. And then at one point, something happened. And then they were, I was like playing with the stupid shit on my wrist. You should and do I it did, for old time's sake. When you do live now, you should like ground yourself. I know. Just like to be different. Be like, and oh, I remember cool. that it got to a point where I was like, yo, it's not connecting. They're like, oh, you don't need it no more. And I was playing with the stupid shit around my fucking wrist for hours. Yeah, that's rough. <laughs> that's that's so crazy. whack. So whack. And fuck, well, you know, when you talk about arguments, you talk, um, that was something that Jamie was pretty good about because he loved oh. hearing you talk, Hoya. And so he would let the, the, he would let a dat tape run just with an open mic in the live room. And he'd just try to capture as much of you just like talking shit. And I remember Willie was better at it than me. Willie would try to like kind of poke you a little bit. He would. He would egg me on. Oh, Willie's good at that. Willie B, he would say something like, yo, this guy says you're a bitch. <laughs> so I, I remember that. I'm like, fuck that motherfucker. Oh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. I get me. Yeah. Where are those dads? Where are those tapes? Well, one of those tapes. tapes. The lost, the lost tapes. Because we, we, and we'd still do it during uh, Demonstrate My Style. That's where the little intro for, uh, yeah, all right, let's go. Let's do this shit. Yeah, yeah that was where he lives. That was from that. Yeah, I remember those all the uh, yeah, that'd be a fucking tape by itself, all the shit talking in between. Oh, Probably better I, off left lost, bro. I, I yeah. remember <laughs> I, I remember one time Freddie flipping about something with the vocals and he and he's like, I'm out of here, but we were in the middle of the woods. That nigga <laughs> left and came back like twenty minutes later because yeah, I went on a stroll. I went on a stroll through the fucking <laughs> I was like, I guess he's stuck here. You gotta get back I, here. I, I hit the I hit the I hit the water and I was like, where do I go from here? <laughs> and I was like, man, and turn back around. And, and what we do, the, the, that, that session for the set it off, what was that, two weeks, you think? Uh, it seemed like two years. Yeah. Probably two weeks. Two, two weeks. Two I want to say, yeah. Ten days. Because we use a basic format to this day. And I want to say that we grandfathered it because that's we, we always compared it to how we always did it. And it was always around ten days, two weeks. So, yeah. yeah, drums yeah, are like three or four days, I think, just on drums. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't think we ever took longer than a couple of weeks for any record we ever did. And I remember fighting with Maddie about the whole guitars. We would argue a lot about guitars. Not to the very end when I decided to scrap them all and redo them. Remember? I know, and then you fight. I was like, yeah, I got to Yeah, yeah. Was... No, and again, I was like, I just remember saying, I, I, I barely know the English language now. And I was like, back then, trying to describe what we wanted. I was just like, and you told me, what do you want? And I go, well, I don't know what I want. I just want these metal motherfuckers to know we could hang. You know, that was my big thing to show Good that point. the hardcore dudes could hang with all the metal shit. And yeah, all yeah. the metal that was popping then, you know, the Machine Head, Sepultura, the Chaos ADs, all these fucking ill records yeah. were popping up around that time. And I was like... Yo, you know, we gotta make a statement. We all it's gotta to be hard. It's gotta be hardcore, but it's gotta, it's gotta. But sonically, yeah. we had, we had to bring that, that, that shit that the, the, the metal dudes were bringing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And in a, in a weird like way, it, it, it did because it's, it sounds, it sounds like it's fucked up. Like, like it's not. It doesn't sound good in a traditional good way. It sounds. It sounds fucked up, but that's what makes it kind of good. Like, I don't know what you guys think. It sounds fucked up. But I, <laughs> and, and, and Which you know part I of it? All like, it? my guitar had a broken pickup. I didn't even know it. And the mm. setup I, I had, I thought was going to give me the right sound, which it would have if my pickup wasn't busted. And, like, just, you know, in the same way you were green in the studio, the way you say it, I think, yeah. I know I still was, relatively speaking. Yeah. It's like, I, all these things I thought you're supposed to do in the studio, some, yeah. Some, I'd look back and say, nah, we shouldn't have done it that way. We should have done it this way. And so we were still trying to figure things out. And it, but that's what makes that band or that record, that record. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like, yeah. Bring, bring yeah, yeah it was definitely, into the that, woods. that's what I try yeah. to tell people about it. You know, the, 
the, the bit, best compliment I get that we get, but people that tell me is that when we, they talk about that record, they say, you know, I came from Poland, I came from Japan or whatever, but they're like, when we hear that record, we felt like we were walking in the Lower East Side. Yeah. We didn't That's try to make that happen. We were just trying to be ourselves, but all that shit came out and the craziness and the rawness and yep. the fucking production and it came out, but we didn't plan it. We never plan out shit like that, you know? It, and That was definitely organic for sure. I mean, it sounds like a band that didn't have a lot of money, didn't have the best gear, wasn't the best organized and were pretty pissed off most of the time being thrown into a professional grade yeah. studio. And that's what you got, man. I mean, that, that set it off straight up. Yeah, and, and uh, people to this day, you know, we sit here and, you know, you know, we, we you know, I, I, have, I don't can't even, li I don't listen to that record, you know, like it's, you know, it's, uh, that's our mark and I'm glad it made the mark and what it is, but, you know, we, there was so much other, sh you know, things that when we hear it now, you're like, man, we could have done this or this sounds oh, crazy. Man. You know, we could have yeah. done this. To me, the best part of that album is the record cover. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think the intro is the best part. Yeah, the, yeah. or the <laughs> intro. And Willie, and Willie, go ahead, give him, give him, give him your line. Give him your line on the record. We don't fake it. We just take it. Yeah. <laughs> that, I mean, you know how many Spot people on, ask Willie. about Spot that on. shit? Well, we, I know, you know what's funny? Like, I think the first tour we did for that record. That's awesome. One of the first shows was like, I don't know, Belgium or Germany. Do you guys remember? It was like that big, it was like a sort of a festival inside, outside thing. A couple thousand people. Poly Vosalar, Poly, I want to say. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I just remember like it was one of the first shows and uh, they're playing that intro, right? We always play the intro. Yeah. And then, you know, after that line, the whole, or when I like it, the whole audience was like, we don't fake it. Yeah. We just take it. I was like, whoa, yeah. holy shit. Yeah. People know our uh, album. You know? And you know, That's it's funny because a lot of people ask, who is that? Where you get it from? Well, the, the, the thing is, you know, we wanted to take the clip from a movie that we loved, American Me, that that had oh, yeah. a lot to do with those early records, it was a big influence on what we were fucking, how we were yeah. living and whatever. But I think we were worried about fucking getting sued from the movie. Yeah, the yeah. copyright and the voice too sounded really weird. I the think. voice yeah. didn't Yeah. Uh, yeah. We tried yeah. it. We, we thought Willie would sound better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about Maddie? We thought Willie would sound better, yeah. What about Maddie? You remember the, coming over with the intro with Stigma's voice where we got hypnotized? Ah, ah, he had that. He was like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> he sounded like one of the fucking golden girls on that shit. <laughs> I remember that. But fucking... But all right, we, we we fast forward. All right, we do the, the set it off record. We get in the thing, and then do, does anybody remember how long before we go right on tour, right? Kind of like that summer, we do our first European tour, right? Like right after we record that, 94. Yeah, I yeah, think man. we did. I think we did that Bruisers tour. 90, yeah. that, was the, that, that was, was the first one. Yeah, and that was in the summer. Yeah, 94. Yeah, I remember yes, being yeah. hot as fuck. And yeah, we yeah. had that picture that goes around we're in Berlin and Kreuzberg, we're tagging on the poster. And that was the first day, in Ber my first day in Berlin. Yep, we were yep. all walking around with Rick, rest in peace, the Bruiser yep, dudes. Yep. And um, that, that was, was the first thing that Heine lived in. Rest in peace, Heine. Shout rest out to peace, the Heine. Kreuzberg family. Yep. Fucking, um, but yeah, that's 94, right? That's 94 yeah. for sure. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, sure. and then, um, all right, yeah, no, that was the first tour. And that tour was like fucking 100 weeks long, too. And yeah, that was a long that tour. That was a long tour. All those yeah. tours were long. Remember, we'd be gone for fucking months. Yeah. yeah. Somebody had a t-shirt and that shit looked like the back of the, the beginning of a Star Wars movie. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I had one of those old shirts on the tour, but I think it was demonstrating my style, but I'm like... We'd be calling home. I don't fucking phone. remember ever playing Norway yeah. and there was like four shows in Norway. I'm like, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it that was, was like, the first time, yeah. Was like, I remember, like, yeah. No, 70 crazy. shows. <laughs> Yeah, and I remember Freddie's right. We would all, we would have to, how many times we got busted and, and we they try to um, charge us for like hundreds and hundreds of dollars of phone bills because we would go on the backstage phones and call New York and fucking yeah. call the houses. <laughs> yeah, remember yeah, that? you can use the phone and then we'd all use it. All day. Like, <laughs> for fucking hours at a time. That was crazy. And then fucking, yeah. um, another big thing that comes up, this is after the set it off thing, but this is something I got. So, People remember, you remember the first fe real festival that I remember is the Dynamo. Like Willie just brought up us playing 
a big festival in the first tour, which I, you know, I barely remember in the order of shit. But for me, before set it off, I mean, before the Dynamo Fest in '95, I don't remember crowds being like that because I remember we thought we were gonna play like a glorified parking lot. You know, we weren't even taking it seriously because we didn't think we didn't even know what the sh- what the hell that was. Yeah, festivals really like we got yeah. thrown into it that with Madball. I never seen a festival with AF. Yeah, it, re- it yo, wasn't like this. yeah, yo, it wasn't like the out. Dynamo. Yo, who remembers this moment? Watch this. Oh shit! How do you do that? Oh, oh watch yeah, this that's part. Awesome. But look at this. When everybody had the banner the size of a building. That <laughs> 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 boy handkerchief. Nicky the knife. Shout the out to Nicky the knife yeah. and Ingo. Yeah, look at it. Yo, oh my God. What are they doing? What are they doing? <laughs> Meatheads from, from start to finish, man. Just, uh, yo. Look at these two spazzes. What were they doing? <laughs> yeah, yo, I had to play that. Cause... Shout out to Nicky the knife and yo, Ingo. I never saw that footage before, man. Yeah, yeah look at you this know guy what? Stopping I've seen a lot of this. But I never saw that uh, banner footage. Yeah, fuck it. Um, I had to get that. Um, I wanted to put that up because my big thing um was that um how everybody had the banners the size of a fucking building. You oh know, everybody God. was so professional, and yeah. and and we come out with the Mad Bull handkerchief as a banner. Who made us that banner? Where did we get that banner? They should have thought of. They should have been. Fucking, I, was it the label or something? No, you know what? It's like Spinal Tap. We gave him the wrong measurements. <laughs> it should have been like, oh, is that what it was? No, Probably. I don't know what I happened. Be, no, I, I feel each. like that did happen at some point. Like, we gave, we were like, yeah, we want a banner. And we gave him, like, some but, small shit. I mean, that's perfect for clubs, but, you Yeah, know? and even then, that shit was easy. Look at it. it was yeah, like, even, in, even uh, in clubs, it was a little bit, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't that, quite. Yeah, we did not. That was the first real festival, I think we That's played. what I mean. The one that I was, was thinking it. of earlier, it was only a couple Imagine thousand that. people, you yeah. know, but it was like a big and it, show. Yeah. And was it on that, but it was on that same tour, but earlier, right? Yeah, or, I think so, or, yeah. yeah. Well, the year after, that was Dynamo 95. Our first tour was in 94. Right, so, yeah. so. Get those new hoodies at CasaTheRock.com. The difference between my shit and your shit is built in koozie. So I oh, yeah. Oh, we had already done a whole tour. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. So we might have done some fest, but exactly. Because yeah. I remember why I bring up, especially that festival, one, it's the biggest fest to date that we played. I want to say that we all played. I yeah, for, for sure. Everybody. And, oh, yeah. And, and I remember the talks before that. We would do some interviews before the fest, and people would say, <laughs> How does it feel? You guys are gonna play the Dynamo Fest, and we were like, well, "Yeah, we're gonna play some parking lot at one o'clock in the afternoon. Who the fuck's gonna be there?" Like, I remember thinking, like, you know, who the fuck? You know, what's the big deal about it? And then yeah. it happened to be that um, I ne- I remember this perfectly. The night before we played London, and yeah, for a minute we thought Mickey the fans were gonna have to fly in on our own and leave the crew behind because there were traffic jams mm-hmm. going to the festival. And Uta decided throughout the night to, to go for it. And I remember waking up as we were pulling into the, the backstage area. Like, she goes, fuck it, we went for it. And we arrived there and we weren't late. And um, I, you guys remember that day, Butch? I remember a lot of that day. I forgot I a lot I felt like shit. <laughs> I forgot a lot of it until I heard you. What, what podcast were, was that? That must have been your own podcast you were on that you are talking about that. Where we, I don't remember, maybe. We were worried about not making it. Yes. But we get we did, and I remember that. And then I remember being on the bus, and like we knew, like I, you could just feel it because all those buses were there. There was just lines of buses. It was a big production, and I hadn't even seen the stage yet. Um, and Bobby Hamble, Baez, and walked on our bus, you know, saying hello. After a few people had already greeted us, and just you know, yo, good to see you, brother. He's like, yo, I'm I'm uh, I'm doing a, a MTV Headbangers Ball. I want to interview you guys later. And I was just like, yeah, yeah, sure, right, right, right. And then Chris Contos came on the bus. Shout out to Chris Contos. And we, you know, we were back Shout there killing, killing time. It's been a long time. I haven't seen him in years. We were killing time and uh, might have been partaking a little bit of uh, some festivities just to kind of get loosened up, right? Yep. And I think I was a little too loose, maybe. And it's like, yo, you guys ready? We're going to go do that interview. We start walking to the bus. 
or front off the bus to like some area in the you know the trailer area and all of a sudden people start kind of crowding us and like i'm starting to feel a little like you know yo what's what's going on here and then all of a sudden boom this big mtv microphone and my grill and cameras and I mean, that was... And, uh, and that was yeah. Freddie had the coronavirus back then, that day. Yeah, right? yeah. I was already immune to that shit back up. then. I was, I was building, up, flu, and, I was and building up my immunity already. When you did that interview, was that before the set or after the set? Before. It was before. Before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that this is that's the crazy part. I want everybody to know, we went on at 1.30 in the afternoon. So, motherfuckers, we were all getting blasted already, like, at 10 in the morning that day. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah, that was wild, man. Hey. I, yeah, I, I had, I did have, I, I was sick. I was sick that day, man. I had like yeah. some kind of, I was like, I felt like shit. I had like, you, I, you had like chills. I had day. chills. I had, was like, it was like, I was definitely legit sick. Is that why you I, fell off the stage? Yeah. Uh, who knows? <laughs> Listen, you know, to this day, like, <laughs> I remember so much. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I remember so much of that day because to me, wild it's our style. biggest show to date. And to, for me, the worst show we've ever played to date. Yeah. <laughs> Just because. Awesome. Everything that could go wrong. If we made a book for new bands, what not to do or what could go wrong, it all happened during that one set for us. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, and the first oh, couple yeah. songs, pretty much. First of all. <laughs> like a comedy of errors. First of all, my microphone, my, if anybody sees the video on YouTube, you could punch it up, Dynamo 95. I had to put my mic stand halfway in the middle of the stage because my, my um, telephone um, 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 bass cord the telephone style that's corded up didn't reach the end of the stage because we never played a stage that big. That was number one. Number two, I remember also Maddie having um his his uh his his uh guitar pedal in the middle of the stage and nothing was like taped up and just cords hanging. Oh my god! Freddie ended up kicking the fucking the the, the pedal off and feet and that whole big and that whole big ass stage and I kick his pedal. But. <laughs> But that, see again, just like the recording, that was Mad Ball. Like we were supposed yeah. to be there, and that's that was just be who we what we did, man. Like and, that was true representation. And, of that and, and another so one, for we got thrown into the fucking the fire. We, we yeah. got thrown into the fire, bro. We were like, I, we got to like, learn this shit. Like right before that, I remember. So we're going right before we get on stage. It's like fucking twelve in the afternoon, and I'm with Nark. Shout out Nark and pit, all the pitchfork yeah. guys. And Nark's like. I Dark remember one. just drinking and smoking my head out because I'm like, yo, we're going to play this big ass stage in front of 10 people. This is going to be horrible. This is going to be so embarrassing. This is fucking whack. I remember even talking with Willie like, yo, this is going to suck. Like, yo, you know, this big ass stage. Who wants to see us at one in the afternoon? One? And I'm blazing, blazing, drinking. And Narc is like, yo, let's go on stage. And I'm like, nah, dude, I ain't going on stage. He goes, come on, let's check it out. I go, for what? To like, get more embarrassed and he goes just fucking come on stage let's check it out and i remember walking on stage and seeing the place already full and i said holy shit i better chill out with the smoke and this shit's gonna get real <laughs> right now in a couple of minutes and then i was like yo we gotta get our shit together and then i oh remember my being God. like it then it started like being nervous. i remember somebody somebody came and got me and i was like laying down that's how, yeah, that's how were, shot i was drunk. they were like yo you gotta play in like 10 minutes i was like oh damn Yep. And I got out of the bunk and I was like, all right, I better get my shit together. And one of my greatest moments in, in, in this hardcore shit was, we're standing on stage, the intro's going on. And, you know, Stigma walks to the front of the stage and lifts his arms up. And I saw everybody start yelling. And I'm right away like, yo, they know him. You know, like, yo, these <laughs> motherfuckers actually know us or whatever. No Stigma. And then Stigma walks back and he's by me, the intro's going on and he looks over to me and he goes, it's all downhill from here, kid. And I remember <laughs> looking at him, I had the biggest heart on him, my dick just went, eh, like that a couple of seconds. Thank Yo, you. where are your laminates the strings, Hoya? First oh, yeah. song, I, all right, another, another That was little, a new bass technique he was yeah, trying out. He <laughs> was doing the fucking, the Slapping flea before with the flea. <laughs> so that, if, you, if you ever see, You'll never see me with a laminate around my neck because, first of all, that stupid shit. I had to yeah. stoop the laminate around my neck, and if you look in the we were green, we were green. Back we had then. The, we're playing set it off the first song off the record. My laminate gets stuck in the bass, so I'm <laughs> the beginning of the song. I'm fighting with my laminate trying to play the bass. <laughs> that was already a fuck up number one. Fuck it, um, the fucking my mic stand, my mic cord didn't reach the fucking the middle of the stage. 
Freddie kicked um fucking um the, the the guitar pedal off. Freddie fell off the stage. At least you didn't, I was gonna say, at least you didn't walk off the stage. <laughs> I remember looking, I'm jacked, we're finally getting in a groove of a song, and I look, I'm looking at Freddie, and then I look again, I'm like, where is he? And I just saw him in the crowd, and I go, oh shit, he decided to jump in the crowd. Then I realized, oh, yeah, later, I decided, all right. <laughs> the crowd was, the crowd looked like a much better choice than trying to get back on that stage. Oh my God, everything that could go wrong, fucking could go wrong. And then I, and I also, and I remember, like, you know, I remember seeing Sean Doggy Dog, because Sean was always repping for us, yeah. you know. And I remember having a couple, and Moby, I remember him being the old drummer for Doggy Dog. I remember a couple fellas were there that were friends of ours. And I remember, guys like, were around. I just remember being oh, like, fuck, man, everything that could go wrong is going wrong, dude. <laughs> like, I think Willie was the only one who had the least problems. Right? Yeah, yeah. And, and that's rare because usually I'm the one that's got all the problems, like drums falling apart and shit, and cymbals yeah, falling over. Yeah, oh Willie God. kept it together. I know <laughs> Willie had got that shit together, but that to the that that festival, till this day, is the so many people throughout Europe was their so first crazy. time catching Mabel. Yeah. and they were like, "You guys were amazing," and I'm like, Ugh. but <laughs> I learned to. But if you look yeah. at the videos that are out there, man, the performance is not that bad. It's, it's actually yeah. pretty good. You know, it's, it's just yeah, there's a lot of technical shit and problems. Yeah, no, yeah. I know what you mean. Like, the one thing we did have, the balls were there. But yeah. just yeah. the dick was soft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the cock was soft, but the balls were big and hanging. That's shit. That's that was hardcore, oh, We brought the hardcore show to the to the metal festival. Yeah, yeah. definitely oh, did. And, yeah. and imagine that the concept of that. Like we, you know, like hardcore on that kind of a stage. That was like we were rare. That was like not only were we new to it, like the yeah. fucking scene was new to it. It was like yeah. that's like that was not like a common thing. Yeah, for a hardcore like, band to try to do a hardcore show. For it's sure, like hundred thousand people, hundred something thousand yeah, people. Man, people were going off, man. In the crowd. No, people, thank God, you know, the crowd went off. That was like, I remember seeing a couple moments we had during that set where I was like, yo, what the fuck's going on? Like, yo, thousands of people fucking jumping and going crazy. I was like, yeah, oh, it was. Yo. It was some good parts. It was some yeah. good. It was some good moments. Check, check this out. So I had somebody had posted this up the other day, and I kept it. So I got the the time flyer. You know the the what you call it, the, 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 the sheet of all the bands that played that day. Oh, so, shit, the running order and all that. The running order. Yeah. That's what it was. And our day, at tw starting at 12, was that band Nevermore, which is a you know old metal band or kind of old. They've been around. Then it was Motorcycle, Murder oh, Psycho, oh, wow. and Madball. We went on at 1340. What does that mean in fucking 140. Military? 140. And then after us was Mental Hippie Blood, Nail Bomb, Fear Factory, oh, Warrior Soul, Grip Incorporated, Doggy Dog, Typo Negative, and Paradise Lost headlined that night. Oh, shit. Where was Biohazard? I remember Paradise Lost. Biohazard was remember. hanging out that day, but they played Oh, they the were on the day. next day. Uh, they, were, they, had, they, they, they capped off the whole festival. Yeah. yeah. They were, that they were their, massive. They were massive back then. Yeah, their, Doggy they, Dog were big. Yeah, their day was um, a shorter day, but it, was, it started with 11 pictures, down set. Dub War, Trouble, Life for Agony, Machine Head, and Biohazard. Yeah. That was the next day. Now I remember, I remember um, the interview was after the show. After right. I met. It right. definitely was. It was after. Yeah, after I feel like it was, too. It was, yeah. Because we were on early. Yeah. So I don't, yeah. I, 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 and I was, like, laying down. So, like, I feel like, and then after the show, we, we were kind of up and out, out and about and, like, kind of getting in the mix. A little more adrenaline. Do you yeah. guys remember what happened at the end of the night? No. How we got um escorted <laughs> out? <laughs> something, something was getting. I don't know. Some, something was happening. Well, I think because we went on so early, and it means I started drinking early. Yes. So yeah. by the end of the show, I can imagine that yeah, things probably got a little. Well, I remember. <laughs> I remember. I remember being on the bus. I was. I was almost asleep. And, yeah. uh, I think uh, I was on the bus too. Uh, when would that happen? One of, our, one of our German, you know, friends that would be, you know, around back then, uh, Rainier, I think his name was. Right. Um, he's like, uh, Maddie, I think there's some trouble in the tent. I'm like, what do you mean? And he's like, well. <laughs> in the big um, top. Yeah, <laughs> in the big top. <laughs> in the big top. 
and I, I, I couldn't figure out exactly what he was saying, but of course I kind of had an idea. And then at one point, he, he, cause he could look over cause he was standing by the driver uh, section and I was back in my bunk, just kind of peeking my head out, talking to him. And he's like, um, yeah, no, there's problems over there. I'm like, yeah, I know. What am I going to do, man? I think I'm just going to lay down. <laughs> yeah. And he, and he told me that uh, somebody had a bench over their head. <laughs> Willie. <laughs> Willie. <laughs> and that's when uh, somebody got up. I don't think I actually ever got up to check it out. And then after all that, and we got that someone back onto the bus, Sean came back. He's like, yo. The beer tent's back open. Come on, let's go. Let's go. That's like, oh. Oh, my now, God. Well, well, what happened was, which I also remember, I don't remember how I heard, but I remember they're like, yo, some really, somebody's backstage with somebody else. And stigma, it was stigma also. And some people, like, basically, there's people are wrecking the backstage area. And, I, and our style was never wrecking backstages. You know, it was usually, you know, Usually we were getting into fights, but we weren't on that Led Zeppelin shit fucking really wrecking backstages. So we go over and I remember being there and we're all like kind of posted up and Willie's bombed. I remember <laughs> we were all fucking about Willie and Stigma and, and, and Nikki the Knife were extra bombed. And I remember we squared off and all these, the whole security squad pulls up and mm. they pull up and they grab one of our laminates and they're like, I remember they look at the laminate and then they look at, uh, at the rest of their guys and they go, Mad ball. we should have known. I never forget them saying that. Basically, what I remember was, I was like, what happened? And the story I got from you, Willie, was, yo, I heard them call Uta a bitch, <laughs> which yeah. I don't know was real. Yeah. I remember Willie, Willie did not want to come back on the bus until that was settled. Like, yeah. Nope, nope. Mm. Nope. Uh-uh. No. This, he had heard, I'm he said he heard somebody here. say, like, Uta, who who's one of the, the heads of MAD and was our tour manager for a bunch of years. She's our booking really, agent. Really yeah. claims, which I gotta go with Willie, but who knows? If <laughs> yeah, well, it yeah, sounds defending good. the family, you know. Yeah. I think that it was either and Willie we, or and Johnny we did do Walker. that. It was Willie or Johnny Walker who fucking said it. <laughs> goes, Yo, they called Uta a bitch, and like I was like, well, we had to handle business. And yeah. then, and then I, I remember, do remember like, them saying, "You'll never play it at Dynamo yes, again." Yes, and we ended up playing and then, Dynamo. So three years later, I played it again. So. And so did yeah. we. We played yeah. it after. Yeah. And they and no, no drama and then, either, right? right? Yeah, no, no drama. No, 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 oh yeah, no. No. But, but you know what I remember? We were like, you know what? The, I remember when they when they said you guys gotta leave, and then the fireworks were going off because the, the festival was over. We were like. Fuck that. We don't want to be here anyway. We out of here. We knew the shit was over. We're like, we're going to miss no hangout time. So we're like, we out of here. Shout out to the Dynamo Fest because they had a lot of love for us. We went back there and and it was history because also we were on the news. That's another thing where help Madball um, get, you know, get a lot of a, a lot of props in Holland because when they aired um, the special on the news in, on Dutch TV, they used our clip of us mm. playing as one of the clips because mad people said, yo, we saw you guys on the news. Yeah, that's true. We went double aluminum because of that, right? Yeah, we went double, right. triple aluminum. Triple saran wrap and double aluminum, I think. That's right. Right you after know? that one. And fucking... Um, <laughs> we'll never know. <laughs> yeah, we'll never know. But fucking... Um, yeah, that was crazy. And that shit, you know, it, it put us on the map. But um, it's still Major, hard for me to time, watch that, that festival. You know hey. what I mean? Agreed. Hey, let me go back to the, the studio uh, events. I set it off. <laughs> Two things, and they both uh, revolve around eggs. Um, oh, uh, Norton? So, so I was living in Boston at the time, right? So Kevin Norton and Doug McKinnon would, would drive me up. Yeah, I remember right? that. So they, they'd be at the studio with us, and, and Jamie Locke boy. and uh, Kevin uh, Norton were like uh, fire and water. Because I, I remember, like, <laughs> one thing I, before I get to the egg situation, I remember Jamie at the control desk, and he's, like, kind of running through a mix, mix, and then the mix would stop, and we're kind of all listening, and then Kevin would say, uh, I don't know, do you think maybe the bass should go up, Jimmy? <laughs> ah, Kevin. And, 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 and Jamie, Jamie would just shut his eyes and just kind of, like, <laughs> Oof. And, Oof. and then, uh, and I remember. Then, Michael Johnson had a dinner party because that was his house. Yes. I it, remember him and his wife one. had a yeah. dinner party that night. So we'd be in the control room and, you know, we, you know, it was cool that we're there, obviously, because we were working. 
but you know we didn't want to go out into the main room during that period yeah we were very respectful about that actually yeah, as, a, as a band and we were you know from start yeah. to finish but at the end when it was okay everything cleared out and it was time for us to you know go i don't know get some water or something from the kitchen uh there was some food left over from the party <laughs> and there was a tray of deviled eggs and it was me kevin and jamie i was there too yeah, were you there? Yeah. Kevin just reached and started eating. <laughs> He's just like, yes, like, oh, no, you can't do that. Don't, don't. He's like real nervous about eating <laughs> like Jonathan's deviled eggs. You know, but on eggs, going to breakfast at that place, remember? I remember. Go eat, and I ordered eggs Benedict, and you're like, eggs Benedict, that is the whitest thing I ever <laughs> oh, had. Oh, yeah. I'm here with that. I and thought that only happened in the movies. Yeah. <laughs> That's happened? my first experience to X Benedict, uh, and you're looking delicious. at X Benedict Lover. No. <laughs> I remember being like, "Yo, that's some white boy shit, X Benedict." These people don't really order that shit. <laughs> but, you know, that's Maddie local from Wisconsin, <laughs> so. And I remember, yeah, yeah, the X Benedict, but Cat Nor made himself fucking at home. We, that was one thing. Oh, he got, boy. God bless him. That's shout, shout out to fucking Cat. Shout out to Kev. Shout out to Dougie. Yeah, Dougie oh, Doug and everybody, yo, but fucking, a lot of crazy, crazy. shit happened. Crazy. But yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad I was able to catch catch you guys, cause I want, yeah. I wanted to do this, and I figured um, this is an easier way to get everybody in one room is to get them on on one screen with the Zoom shit. Yeah, and that's fucking, cool. and this is my thirteenth, um, my lucky thirteen out of the fucking my my podcast reboot, which wow. we've been hitting it hard, and fucking, I wanted to do something that people haven't fucking really done. And a lot of people have been asking about this record. So I wanted to do a little fucking, a little reunion for this album. And especially that we're, we're working on our 10th record, which again, yeah. it's, it bugs me out every time we still say it. We're, yeah, we're it's a trip. The 10th. And, um, it's a trip. Yeah, but fucking, um, Maddie, Willie, what are you guys doing? What, what, what's, I mean, we talked about it on, on, on the episodes I did with you guys. But what's what, what, what's what's your plan from now? What's up with the music? What's your plan for the end of the year? Uh, yeah, well, go ahead, Maddie. Okay, um, just got the artwork back today. Actually, you guys remember? I'm sure you know him, Billy, uh, Sven, Gunther, um, Unity World. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? I just yeah. saw him last year when I was on tour. Yeah. yeah so so he's uh he's running that label and he's putting a split out with us and Rikers, the eulogy, my band. Oh, shit. Not the eulogy. That's so, a trick. Uh, the so new that, track just, is dope too. Yeah. Thank you, brother. We just got the artwork back for that split EP. It's going to, it's going to come out in January. So it'll be uh, a seven inch vinyl with the digital download. Nice. So, you know, Willie, you, think Willie. You, ever, you think you ever go to Europe or something with that, with the eulogy? Hey man, you know, I think that that opens the doors up to being more of a possibility. For sure. I, I'm just going to throw it out there. We do. I know the know, take has been the there. take the eulogy mad ball. Get yeah. on it. Yeah. yeah. Good lineup, man. You, you might get it. You might get a surprise song. You know, yeah. on the, on yeah, that's a good stories. track. That, one, that new song. song sounds good, Maddie. And, and, yeah, no, but there, there's, there's, there's a lot of shit cooking for the, you know, after this pen fuckery shit passes by. Yep. And, um, just letting yeah, people know that we're all still working and Willie, What's the deal with you guys? I know we talked about it before, but let motherfuckers know what's up. Yeah, we're, well, I'm playing in the take. Scott Roberts, uh, Carlos, Congo. It's kind of oh. like everybody else, man. We're in a holding pattern, you know, waiting for this shit to, to Major. open up. But you got shit ready to drop. Songs. We got we got new bunch of new songs. Yeah, you. That when do we dope. release them? You know, you don't want to put something out right now because you can't go right. on tour. You know? So yeah. we're kind of kind of waiting a little bit. And, and, um, and we might to be play doing a live, 10, right? Actually, what's that? You're planning to play live again when it's time to play live again, right? Oh yeah, man! As soon as we can, we actually might do a live streaming concert at the Bowery Electric in a couple weeks. Oh, that's dope! Uh, Drew, Drew Stone's trying to put that together, so that'll be nice. Know. That'll be fun just to play, even though there'll be no crowd there, but just to play, man. Shout out to the hardcore product, man. Is anyone here of when things might actually legitimately open up? Like, I mean, we have, a lot of our stuff's been rebooked for next year, and like you know, being advertised and all that. So, so it's booked and advertised for twenty twenty. Booked and advertised, and I, I can't imagine that we wouldn't be doing by next year. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, it's like everything I pushed back a year. I think everything we yeah. were supposed to do this year, we're going to do next yeah. year. But, but now, back in, there's actual committed dates for next year at this point. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. That, yeah, for sure, whole tours. 
It's yeah. just, you know, the, 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 the lay of the land of what's what with, you know, letting us out of the country and shit and fucking yeah. all other countries all, accepting all, us. All the logistics, all that bullshit. But yeah, every, these people heard it from me, but Freddie, let them know what we up to because people heard, heard me say it enough times, but... Yeah, we're, 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 we're working on a new album, man. That's, that's what we're up to. We're, we're doing it long distance right now, but soon we're going to be getting together um, and then putting stuff together and then hopefully get into a studio soon after that. And 2021, we'll be dropping a new record no matter what. No matter what, we're dropping a new record 2021. I can't say exact date or time period or whatever, but... 2021, expect a new Madball record for sure. So 2021 has a, some eulogy shit, the take shit, and some Madball shit, huh? We got to fuck it. And Stigma yeah. wants My to do a uh, Stigma wants to do a set it off <laughs> reunion tour. There so you go. He's got his Newport box ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys do. Uh, uh, and we'll, we'll go. We'll box. set some cars on fire. And, there you uh, go. But, I, yeah, that, yep. that's Turn that's a everything. couple cars over. <laughs> Against bikes. Smack, yeah. smack a couple people around. You know. Yeah. There was new park. <laughs> All new in a day's port, work. Wireless systems. There was cars burning. Yeah. We, we did Notre, what the Vikings did in the early days. Notre Dame jackets. <laughs> Notre Dame jacket, British and, British flag pants. We we ripped Stigma's mesh um 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 fishnet shirt off and fucking threw on a fucking basketball jersey on that fucking body of his. Oh my god! I think he wants to do it again. So <laughs> yeah, there no, you but, go. No, but definitely we got it, yo. You know, that's I, can, I, I foresee I foresee us all definitely linking up with each with all our different bands, and then hey, you might get a little treat at the end of the night. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah, it's great. We're all we're all active, so hopefully we can do that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Two, over twenty six years later, still in those trenches. That's what I tell people. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. We were, we were born Thanks. in the trenches, and we're still living in the fucking trenches. Fuck yeah, absolutely. We're fucking um, yo. Everybody, I'm in the jungle, as you can see. I'm still in the jungle. It's <laughs> yeah, yeah, different, yeah, different kind of jungle. It's not a real. concrete jungle. But it's this like, guy looks it. like he's a fucking cartel dude. I'm, I'm in the fucking jungle. Like in the jungle. He's like. Man, Gotta do what we gotta do over here. You know what I mean? So everybody <laughs> out there, look out for the eulogy. Look out for the take. Look out for that new mad ball shit. Hopefully, when next time we come back, we're gonna have another. We do a demonstrating my style reunion and with that the old be dirty fun. bastard because stigma should have been here. But again, oh, yeah. his, his pigeons are fucking. They're still flying with the messages on them. We could we could add some stories from set it off into that one too because there's a yeah little, yeah those, but, uh, those both both have a lot of stories still. But yo. I'm glad you guys were able to make it. It was good to see everybody again. Thanks and for having us. Well, fucking yeah, um, good to see you guys. And we yeah, out of here. Hopefully, Peace. see you guys in person soon. Peace. Peace. All right, guys. Peace.